Chris, obviously a very difficult weekend. What's your message to the team to put this behind you and get back to playing good baseball? I told them to keep their heads up. Um, it's a difficult, it's, it's as frustrating and disappointing it is for everyone, it's probably more on them. And uh, we have to get better. We have to improve individually, coaches, everything, uh, to play better baseball. We're just not playing a very high level brand of baseball right now, and we, we have to get better. Uh, and it seemed like that second time through the order, LSU kind of shifted their focus and looking soft early in counts and those first pitches. I mean, did you notice that? And how can you maybe maybe make things a little less predictable? I, guess? I, I think it's it's more. We pitched that way all weekend because if you throw fastballs, that you're gonna they're gonna get a bunch of them. We ended up with throwing fastballs late, and you saw some of the balls hit. So I think it's more. You know, we probably pitched them as good as anybody this weekend until the fifth inning. You know, and we don't make a play in the fifth inning, um, but. You know, yeah, it's it's just a, a mix. You just got to make better mixes, better lost, pitches instead of mixing. You lost a couple of huge pieces from last year that were huge leadership pieces, but there's a lot of guys returning from last year's team. Why don't you think it's been able to click so far in SEC play or for most of the season to start off four and eight right now? Yeah, it's just you know, it's not it's not on their leadership. We just haven't played well enough. It's just it's just everybody. Collectively, I guess you know we haven't pitched well at times. We haven't hit well. We haven't defended at times. I mean, we just. We, we got to be a better, well-rounded ball club. You talked about the strikeout yesterday when you had guys on base. You had a few more today, and it just seemed like you had a guy on base every inning and just couldn't score them. What was the issue, you think? Uh, just, you know, not getting a hit. Probably as pretty basic as that, but just not getting a hit with guys on base. RJ, it's merged is arguably your best player on the team. Uh, you know, he's living up to your potential, but you know, does that send a challenge maybe to the rest of the team? You know, hey, this is a guy that just got here and he's, he's leading us. Let's, let's go. Yeah, I, get, I mean, I just, you know, RJ's a great kid, uh, great leadership abilities too, and, and he kind of had a slow start. So he had to fight through it and get back in there, and um, he's played really well here of late. I saw Slate come in and hit a pinch hit home run. Is he a guy you think could get some more at bats down the road? Yes, yes. We, we have to find some guys on our bench to give us a little bit more than what we're getting in our lineup, and I got to get him more at bats. As frustrating as the left on base is, if you're still doing something right to get guys on base, what's the next piece to finish it off and get them in? A lot of times it's just somebody getting that big hit, and then it'll start to roll. Confidence, I guess, is more than anything. We're just, you know, we're not getting, you know, we're just not even, to me, it's, for, it's not even about getting a hit. It's just having a good at bat, hitting the ball hard, putting the ball in play. We're not even getting that in those situations. So, I mean, we just have a lot of strikeouts. You guys obviously have the home field advantage that you have here. I mean, what were you seeing from LSU just throughout this weekend? It seems like mentally they, they were not very phased at, at all by the, by the environment. No, no, they weren't. You know, we, we didn't put a lot of pressure on them. So you got to put pressure on them, get big hit. We talk about it all the time. You get a big hit, put the crowd into it. Never got the big hit. Just, you know, and it, what it does is it builds confidence in that other dugout. Every time they get us out, every time they make a pitch, it makes it, you know, tougher. You know, they just they get more comfortable in the environment, I guess. What did you see from Kate today? I mean, I believe we've been solid for you all year. It was good early, you know. I mean, it was good in the fifth. You know, we don't make a play, and I think he got frustrated. And we walked the guy. We didn't control eight and nine. Eight and nine killed us today. They don't even. They usually not in the lineup. Those two, and they played really well. And um, you know, then you have to fight through that one through three. You know, it's that's a tough group there in the front. You got to you got to control the backside because those guys up there are good, and they get the big hit there, the home run. You know, there were two outs, so um, that kind of blows it out of the game for Cade. You know, I thought he was pretty good. If you stay, you don't give up the home run, you're in a 2-1 game there, you know, because we should catch that ball. You talked about the leadership a little bit earlier. I mean, just how much trust do you have in this group to kind of be able to stomach the, the sweep here and, you know, keep moving forward with Auburn next week and then the midweek against Birmingham? They don't have a choice. They got to keep – they got to show up and be ready to play. Um, it's tough. I mean, it's it's tough. and, and We've had tough times here before and fought through it, and we're just going to have to fight through it. I mean, we got good kids. They're great kids. They're bought in. They love this university, so they'll play hard. A quick turnaround this week. You talked Monday night about you going to make a move in the rotation. Those quick weeks maybe yeah. the weekend to do it, but is that possible this week now? Yeah, I don't know. We'll have to take a look at it and see. It'll, it'll be uh, – we got to. We still got to see where guys are at after we get through these couple days, so how they feel after a day or two off. Is there a possibility of you moving Smith up a day or two? Are you comfortable where he is? I mean, how, how do you see as a skipper kind of where Kate is in your rotation? Uh, well, it was really good until today. You know, he was he's probably our best guy until today, and he's still probably our best guy. But it's we just got to look at it. Everybody's got to move up this week. So that's uh, the transition from this week to the following week is probably where you can see something change. Yeah. 
obviously with, with Brandon Smith potentially being in that weekend spot, how do you think that might shake up the midweek here? Yeah, I don't know. Well, like I said, we, we don't know what Brandon can do right now. So we're obviously he can't throw Tuesday. So he's not available just because of the pitch count of yesterday. You said that you kind of were telling the team to keep their head up and to keep their confidence. What's the confidence level like in the in the locker room and when you have plays that are choppers going off second base and everything seems to yeah. keep going you know, wrong? How do you keep their – You know, we talk all the time about playing the game the right way. So playing the game, the game, of, the game sees everything, and if you play it – you. We'll get a chopper off the bag next. I mean, that's just the way this game will go. And so we, I, I just told them we couldn't feel sorry for ourselves. No, nobody feels sorry for you. You got to take care of business and, and put, get your head up. And, and creating confidence is like the chicken or the egg. Right? I mean, uh, you, you just you have to do something to create confidence. So um, they're going to have to have good work and good practice so they can go out there and play well and, and build it in little things. Driving a run with the runner at third and infield back. Those are the little things that we need right now. Make a good pitch, you know, make a play. It's not, we're not asking for home runs and shutouts. We're just wanting them to play, make better pitches and, and better at bats.